In this lesson, guys, we'll be talking about what are particle diagrams and how we draw them. So we'll be talking about particle diagrams for elements, compounds, and mixtures. A particle diagram is a visual representation of the particles of a substance with, a, with the particles typically represented as dots. In biology class, they talk a lot about diffusion. We've seen in your textbooks, in your review books, about how different molecules will spread out as time uh, progresses, and they're always depicted as circles. When we get later into the year into nuclear chemistry, the particle diagram on the right will show the spontaneous decay of a uranium isotope. Monatomic diagrams, they're just single spheres, no connection to one another. So those elements that we talked about, like sodium, for example, this is a perfect particle diagram of it. Um, the diatomic di uh, diagrams, however, remember we said there are two of the same exact kind of elements uh, chemically combined together. So like O2, for example, they look exactly the same, but they're, they're smushed together. Compound particle diagrams are also drawn like elements. Instead, you get to see the actual composition of each compound. On the left, we're noticing we have a particle diagram of water vapor. So oxygen is going to be our big red sphere, and the hydrogens are going to be the white spheres. You know that this is all water because they all also have that same traditional Mickey Mouse shape. They all have one red sphere and two white spheres. On the right, we're noticing a particle diagram for NH3 gas. The N, because there's only one of them, is going to be represented by the purple sphere, while the green spheres are going to represent your hydrogens. And you can tell that these are pure substances in both examples because there's only one kind of particle diagram that's filling up the entire box. Mixtures, as you can see, have different types of pure substances inside of them. So if you look at every single one of those diagrams, starting from the left, you are going to see that it's a mixture of two different monatomic atoms. Then you go on to the next one, you see that it is a mixture of a monatomic atom and one diatomic element. The next one would be a mixture of two diatomic elements, and then the last is a mixture of the diatomic elements and compounds. You can have mixtures of different compounds. You can also have mixtures of different, uh, of all three different things. So monatomic, diatomic, and compounds. Later in the year, we'll also be talking about uh, the beta decays or any type of nuclear decay. We use particle diagrams for them. Uh, when we talk about half-life, Again, another nuclear chemistry topic. Those will be in particle diagrams. Also, when we get into the aqueous chapters, we'll be talking about ionization and the dissociation of ionic compounds in water, which is depicted in the diagram in the top right.